A Central Indiana school board votes tonight on whether to allow alcohol on school property. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills tells us what's behind this move and the strong reaction that it's getting. Lebanon would like to see more people exit here. Like other small communities, it's looking for new ways to promote economic development. That's where the new 9,000 square foot conference center at Lebanon High School comes in. The largest such venue in the county, it was built with help from the city and not just for school events. It's compartmentalized into three different sections. The superintendent Robert Taylor says it's been used for meetings, weddings and fundraisers. It's simply taking a very small component of the education facility and allowing that to be utilized uh, by different individuals as they see fit. And that's what worries residents like the Hodges. When people hear this, the first thing they do is they laugh and then they say, are you kidding? The school board votes tonight on a policy allowing the venue's caterer to serve beer and wine at certain events. Just really upset that they're even, even thinking about it. Linda Studeville sent letters to 30 churches and groups asking them to oppose the plan. If somebody is in that room and they've been drinking and they come out and get in their car and drive and they hit somebody, then, you know, then it's, it's too bad. This is not a alcohol at school, during school, promoting alcohol. Taylor says alcohol would not be served during school hours or when students are present. And he says all doors into the venue are locked. Keeping students out. It's, it's a multiple use facility. This is one uh, element that was included in the policy. But there's no convincing Grant Hodges. You should, shouldn't be all right uh, for adults to drink alcohol on one side of a wall and uh, students to get expelled for it on the other side of the wall. Taylor says that alcohol would never be stored on school property, that each event would need its own license, and that school functions would always take priority over all others. In Lebanon, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.